I grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina back in the 1950s and 60s. And back then, it just didn't feel safe to live authentically to who I was uh, in, in those days. At least it didn't feel safe to me. Uh, people like me mostly had to live our lives in the closet. So imagine, imagine my absolutely overwhelming joy when I, I went to the first Greensboro Pride Festival that I ever attended. It was there on South Elm Street, South, uh, the main street of Greensboro. The festival itself was right there next to the cafeteria that my mother and dad used to take me whenever I was a little kid. And, and it, was, it was just amazing, amazing to see so much color. And on the way down the street, I just cried. I was so happy, I just overjoyed. I was seeing people that I had known for years. I had no idea that they were anywhere related to the gay community, but, but there they were. And as I got closer and closer to the, the stage, my tears started flowing even, even more. And I finally got up there and right next to the stage was Bob Page and the Replacements Limited booth. And my mother had done business with Bob Page for many years whenever I was a kid. It was amazing. And he was there with Mayor Nancy Vaughn and they saw me and they saw that I was crying, that I was overwhelmed. And they came up and hugged me. It was almost more than I could stand. And it just goes to show you that no matter whether it's the first one or the next one of many festivals you've been to, it's always good to go back to the roots. Happy Pride, Bob.